So we're almost there. But I want to add one additional field. Because we spent so much time creating that custom calculation and that custom calculation file, I would like to add the USP resolution column to this report. So to do that, go back to your editor again. Right mouse click inside of the table that begins with your name, the, the names of each one of those peaks, RLM test one, two, three, four. Right mouse click inside of that table and go down to the properties of the table. This opens up the properties of the entire table, not of one single column. Now from this properties area, I can then look at a variety of other options that I have available to incorporate into this table. Now for this example, I want my custom calculation, that USP pass fail column, to be the final column in this table. So I'm going to click my last column in the table right now, and that's going to highlight in a little bit of a purple hue color. Then for the fields that are just to the left of that, there are a variety of different fields that are available to populate into this table. I'm going to go to the plus to the left of compound, and notice that as soon as I expand what's underneath that compound section, there is a place there called custom calculation results. Double click on that custom calculation results and notice that we have the two named custom calculation files or two named custom calculators that we did in our previous exercises. This is why it was very important to, for me at least, to rename those instead of CC file number one, CC file number two, to name them something that would make it clear to me what this is. So this is now, I can highlight my USP res, click OK, and that adds now the USP resolution column immediately to the right of the amount column in my table. I can click OK, and notice that even before I preview that report, it shows me that my new column has appeared, and it even starts filling in some of that information for me. But if I'd like to see what this specific injection looks like, I can select the preview in the upper layouts and refresh preview again in that upper ribbon and go down to the table and notice that it has indeed added not only my area percent column that I added in the previous step, but my USP resolution, that custom calculation file, from my custom calculator and gives me my pass-fail criteria here as well. 